Welcome back everybody. Here's a short video on adding an electric fan to a class 31 diesel. This is switchable to switch on and off separately to the main motor function. So we have here the uh, DigiKeys DR5000, which is my DCC module. This is connected via a USB lead up to my PC. And Decoder Pro. And an ESU tester. What I've done with the lead is I've cut into the motor wires directly connect those to this uh, for the six pin. I'll later connect into the uh, black and red actually into the locomotive. And then I've altered the coding of the Zen decoder to actuate the motor via F1. So F1 is the same as the startup for the sound on the TTS module in the Class 31. So when I press F1 on the screen, the motor spins, and you can set the uh, decoder to spin at a static rate. Um, the only thing I can't seem to get it to do is continually go in the same direction. So when you change loco direction, the um, fan will also change direction. Well, let me catch that. Again. But F1 then allows me to do that. I've also coded the lights on this so I can then um, turn the red tail lights off to F3 and F4. F4 only works when the locomotive is going in the other direction. So potentially I could have double red or turn off so I have no red tail lights. Um, I'll still have to do a bit of work on that. So what I'm going to show you here is how I optimise the uh, Zen decoder to run uh, on a fan switch only to run the motor rather than run the motor at the same speed of the locomotive which is a, an option but then obviously when the locomotive comes to a standstill the fan will come to a standstill. So here I'm using uh, some software which is free from JMRI called Decoder Pro. The then decoder I set up here as and it's a ZN six D for reference. And within the motor function I enabled motor button control. So it's a quick and simple thing to do. And then button control direction you have a choice of having it on F2 and F3 or just F2 on. The power function here controls the speed of the fan. Um, on speed two, the fan does run slower, but occasionally you will stall and won't start. Uh, and speed three was the next one up. So that's what I chose there to give it a low running speed for the fan. Uh, I'm not sure that is relation to voltage or anything, but when I've tested the fan on its own, about three volts is about what it needs. Within the function map, I then enabled here motor control and you can assign it to different functions. And I can assign it to function one, which is the same as the startup for the sound on the TTS sound decoder that I've got in the locomotive. From there onwards, once I uh, was happy with those settings, I went back in and then I changed this to 268 
which is the same address as the locomotive and then I coded the chip to be the same as the locomotive so it shadows um, the other chip, the TTS chip. Hopefully that will be of use. Moving on to installation. This is how it was originally set up. I put a TTS decoder in this some time ago. You can see the original fan there. I'd removed the belt because it gave inconsistent running. Under the PCB board is where the TTS decoder is. It's held in some Kapton tape, which is electrically insulating but not thermally insulating. That was a fan I tried to put my own electric motor in, didn't really work. Um, the one that I've fitted now I found on eBay this is actually a Hornby Electron Spare. Um, I'll give uh, some details at the end about that. Here I'm fiddling and putting the Zen decoder in. I did try threading this in different ways. I had to loosen the two screws that hold the PCB board down. And there's a bit of space just in the centre, just above the motor, where the motor is. Um, and you thread the uh, decoder through there. bit fiddly. Here I'm adding the black and red feed wires for the decoder which I've cut on the small harness up to the PCB board. The two center tabs there are where the motor bogey attaches. So there's a black and a red wire there already. I did try threading through and using the plastic clips but there wasn't enough room I ended up soldering. A little bit fiddly, but a bit time consuming. Uh, just take your time doing it. Uh, just behind there, that little white plastic card bridge with the two screws and it's holding this, this speaker. Yeah. That's uh, something I made up to hold the speaker in situ. The speaker is, um, they're available from Road and Rails. They're quite readily available. It's an ESU, um, modular speaker so you can make it up to any size you like it's 8 ohms so it's suitable for running with the TTS decoder I've used it in a few tight space installations that's just the decoder wire going on there added some insulation over the two wires which either go to a stay alive or a brownout device on this decoder it had a separate brownout device um, DCC concept so you can add a stay alive to that don't need that so I'm just making sure it's well insulated just trying the fan in uh, to get the length for the cables for the motor wire so I'll just temporarily screw it in. I decided to install it this way around uh, rather than the, the, the original way that the belt driven fan was because the belt driven fan has a slight step in it um, this one is completely flat so it suits if it goes around this way a little bit better the screws are on the center line of the fan so in terms of alignment to the body shell, they're virtually it's virtually identical to the original. I'll just shorten those and I'll tin the wires after stripping a very small amount of back of the insulation.
just a regular flux solder very fine tip on the soldering iron because I've been doing quite a bit of fine work remove the fan now uh, so that I find it easier to solder the wires on without getting the soldering iron anywhere near the uh, cap area that will melt in the plastic just a slight amount of solder on the tab give it a bit of a tug yeah that's a good yep thanks and then replace the body shell to make sure it all clears and the fan rotates this locomotive I've had for some time it needs the, the cowl and the uh, buffer beam detail adding on end which is one of my next jobs there we go, up it runs Fan stops a little short, ideally it should run on, but uh, it works, it fits, um, looks the part. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you on the next one.